Hello, I'm Marie, and welcome to part two of how I made my robe a la Française. In this video, I will be showing you how I made the petticoat. As always, step one is pinning and cutting out the pattern. Here I am cutting the center front panel of the petticoat on the fold. This is so that the petticoat will not have a seam running down the front of it. I'm using the same deep red fabric for the front of the petticoat as I did for the gown of the robe a la Frances. I'm using my pinking shears to cut it out because this fabric has a terrible tendency to unravel. Now I'm pinning and cutting out the two side panels for the front of the petticoat. I find it really fascinating how the skirt for dresses that were worn over panniers or pocket hoops are cut. Here the top of the skirt is cut at a diagonal. Now something that I meant to say in the part one of this video and forgot to was when deciding what size you are going to cut your historical fashion pattern out to be, make sure you take your measurements while you are wearing all of your proper undergarments for the era that you are planning um, to wear underneath the garment because that is, is going to change your answers for your measurements um, and that could be a problem so just FYI because that was something I was thinking about um, when I was cutting out this pattern. pattern for the back of the petticoat I decided to just use some white lining fabric from my fabric stash because I was getting kind of worried about how much fabric uh, I had left of, uh, for the gown uh, because I still needed to trim the dress in the red fabric because that was, you know, it, it's the how these dresses work. You trim the dress in the same fabric as the dress. We will explore that topic later in the trimming video, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, that's why I decided to go ahead and use white for the back of the petticoat, because you don't see it anyway, so why use good fabric for it? <laughs> Just in case you did not watch the first video about making this gown, Welcome, I'm so glad you are here, and also I just wanted to let you know that I'm using the American Duchess pattern 8578 that is published by Simplicity in the book American Duchess Guide to 18th Century Dressmaking to Make This Petticoat and Gown. I sewed them together, and yes, I know I didn't change my thread from red to white, uh... But I guarantee you, you will never see it again, because it's on the inside seam of the back of a petticoat that goes under a robe a la Frances. Time to pin together and sew the three front panels of the petticoat. Pleating time! I identified the front center of the petticoat and created a box pleat there. Thank you. 
I then continued to pleat the front of the petticoat with knife pleats facing away from the center box pleat. I would do a knife pleat on the one side and then I would do it on the other side so they would match um, and keep the fabric use even and keep the pleats uh, centered. It is a good thing I like pleating because this dress sure did require a lot of pleats. I then did the same thing on the back side of the petticoat. I identified the center, put a box pleat there, and then I did knife pleats on either side. And then sew down the pleats.
and sewed the front and back together. I created a waistband out of white lining fabric because it would not show and I was still very concerned that I was going to run out of the red fabric. I measured the length of the pleated fabric on the top of the petticoat and then I cut the waistband just a tad longer so it would be able to, so I would be able to do a finishing hem on the ends. I took the two long sides of the waistband and folded them to the center. I then sandwiched the top of the pleated petticoat into the waistband. I added four white grosgrain ribbons to the waistband to act as ties to hold the petticoat to my waist. I slipped the ribbons into the end of the waistband and pinned them in place before sewing them down. To sew on waistbands, I like to top stitch them down so you can make sure that there is a nice even line that appears on the front.
I then hemmed the petticoat all the way around and it was done. Thank you so much for watching.